say we had a tremendous week last and I can still feel the impact of that week of fasting. I mean, are you still here tonight? It means that you did a wonderful job. And you must be commended when you do the good things. Amen. Is that all right? Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. But we look for the results. I said we look for the results. How many look for the result of the fast? How many fast with expectation? Believing that God is going to do something great in your life. Come on, come on. I'm not speaking to someone tonight. Hallelujah. The Bible says God is no man's debtor. Amen. Whatsoever man sow, that shall he also reap. Amen. You sowed last week. I said you sow. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to bless you with a song tonight. It's a song that all the angels in heaven cannot sing. You get real quiet. I said there is a song that all the angels in heaven cannot sing. But the redeemed can sing it. I said if you are bought with the blood of Jesus Christ, you can sing that song. That song is amazing grace. How sweet the song is. That all right? Hallelujah. And it's a song holy angels cannot sing. Amazing grace. How sweet a song. And it's a song holy angels cannot sing. Praise it. Amazing grace.
God, O oh, Spirit of the Most High, Mighty God, Glory to Jesus. Romans chapter 10 and verses 9 says, Hallelujah, verses 8, sorry. But what say it? Is? Say what say it? Is? The word. Say what is speaking? The word. The Bible calling it. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Not who? Is that a person? The Bible calling it. Amen, somebody. Come on, somebody. It is indescribable. It is unimaginable. Amen, somebody. It is the word of God that created and framed all things. And the scripture says, but what say it? What say the word? The word is nigh thee. Said the word of God is nigh unto me. It is close to me. Come on somebody. It is in me. The Bible said even in thy mouth. Amen, somebody. So he said, what say this? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth, and in thy heart. Come on, somebody. Say, God's word is in my mouth, and in my heart. Come on, somebody. He said, what say did the word of God is speaking to us and telling us where it should be? He said, it should be in thy mouth and it shall be in thy heart. He said, it shall be in my mouth and it shall be in my heart. Amen, somebody. That is the word of faith. Come on, somebody. That is what? The word Come on somebody. See I can have all type of word in my mouth. I can have a false word. I can have a deceiving word. Come on say to me. Say I can have a false word. I can have a deceiving word. I can have a doubtful word. I can have a doubtful heart. I can have a deceitful heart. I can have an unbelieving heart. That the Bible is not making a distinction of what it is. He said, what say it that the word is nigh thee even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith. Amen, somebody. Don't you hear me say, what type of word you have tonight? What type of word you have tonight? Come on, somebody. What type of word is in thy mouth? What type of word is in thy heart? Come on, somebody. The Bible said it is the word of faith that we preach. Come on, somebody. It said it is the word of faith that we preach. Amen, somebody. As you read, it says the word of faith which we preach. Come on, somebody. Say it is the word of faith. It's what I am preaching tonight. Say it is the word of faith. It's what I am operating by tonight. Amen, somebody. Depression is of my heart. 
Come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. Come on, somebody. Sin is of my heart. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Come on, so the Bible is making a distinction. That is faith. He is saying, he's making a distinction that not everyone now has the word of faith. There are people that can be around your life that doesn't have the word of faith. They can have pride. They can have arrogance. They can have ego. They can have slackness. They can, they can discourage you. They can hinder you. That's why Isaiah went on to say, Whose report shall you believe in life? You are receiving a report every day. You might receive a negative report from your wife, a negative report from your husband, a negative report from your neighbors, a negative report from your loved ones, from your lawyers, from your physicians. Come on, somebody. From your bank. Come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. But the Bible. What say it? Uh, that the world, uh, amen, is an idea, uh, even in thy uh, mouth uh, and in thy heart. Uh, that is uh, the word uh, of faith which we preach. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. We can claim to have all things. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. But the word of faith, that is the word of faith that we preach is something different. Come on, somebody. When you have the word of faith, you have something different. You are you don't, you're no longer a dead believer. You're no longer a dead Christian. You're no longer a religious person. When you have the word of faith, you have power to move mountains. You become a mountain mover. See, when I have the word of faith, I become a mountain mover. See, God has called me to be a mountain mover. Come on, somebody. Say, mountains does not stop me. I'm not respected to the mountains in my life. That is the word of faith which I preach. If I have in mountains, turn on power before the presence of God that is within me. Whatever is my mountain, whatever is my affliction, whatever is my disease, be it cancer, be it no be it age, be it diabetes, heart disease, brain tumors, whatever report that rise up against me, whatever man say, whatever the devil say, whatever the witches say, whatever people say, doesn't matter to me. But the word of faith, but the word of God says to me. The one who created the heavens and the earth. The one that is omnipotent. If I go to the heavens, he is there. If I'm on the earth, he is there. If I'm under the earth, he is there. This it is now speaking unto me. Come on, somebody. He 
he is not like man that he should lie or the son of man that he should repent. So I can class him as a man. Come on, somebody. I cannot, I cannot understand him as a man. Come on, somebody. The Bible said that his ways is a way past the understanding of man. So I got to gain the revelation and the understanding of the most high. Amen, somebody. How do I gain that? By receiving Amen, the interpreter. By receiving the instructor. By receiving the comforter. By receiving the Holy Ghost. And he is alive in me. And he is leading me. He is guiding me. He is speaking to me. And out of my belly is flowing rivers of living waters. He said, what say it that the word, the word is nigh me, it is so close to me. Come on somebody. He said, my miracle is so close. My breakthrough is so close. My healing is so close. My deliverance is so close. Come on somebody. Amen. My joy is so close. Come on somebody. Come on somebody. Come on. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Come on. What say it? Come on. It's a big question man. The world is that deep. Come on. Even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is. That is. Amen. So what type of word you have in your mouth? You have gossip in your mouth. You have back in your mouth. So you have to put business in your mouth. Come on, somebody. What type of word you have in your mouth? Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Say, what type of word do I have in my mouth? The Bible wants you to make a clear distinction. That is the word of faith. Because there are things that can sound like faith. There are things that can look like faith. There are things that can make a mockery of faith. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Peter spoke about those who have obtained light, precious faith. Not everyone has a light, precious faith. Amen. This faith is in likeness of the Son of God. Come on, somebody. Come on. Amen. And the Bible said, What you and I got to be preaching is the word of faith. Come on, somebody. That is the word of faith. Faith which we preach. Amen. We cannot do anything without faith. Amen. We cannot receive anything from God without faith. Amen. The Bible said if any man, come on somebody, wants to receive anything of God, let him come unto him in faith. Amen. Not wavering. Come on somebody. Amen. Not wavering. He said if that man is asking anything of God and there is a wavering and doubt in his mind, let him not think that he shall receive anything of God. Amen. Come on somebody. Amen. Come on somebody. Amen. Come on somebody. Amen. Amen. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth, Say what I am speaking every day to friends, family, loved ones is my confession. My confession is not only when I come to church. My confession is a lifestyle. The Bible saying is from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak it. Amen. And the Bible says all the sin of man comes from in the heart of Amen. man. Jesus says, who can know what is in the heart of man? 
He said it is desperately wicked. So it don't make sense you trying to wonder why somebody don't like you. Wonder why somebody envy you, why they're jealous you, why they're attacking you, why they're trying to bring your name down, why, why they're doing witchcraft against you, why they're doing sorcery against you. Come on, it don't make no sense asking that question. Jesus said the heart of man is desperately wicked above all things. He said behold the light that's come into the world, but man has chosen, man has rather darkness more than life for your deeds are evil. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Glory. Amen. Say every word I speak. Every word I speak. It's a confession. That's why like Jesus said that we will give and account for every idol. My confession can stop my blessing. My confession can stop my breakthrough. My confession can stop my miracle. My confession can stop my visitation. My confession can grieve the Holy Spirit. My confession can hinder the work of God. Come on, somebody. Amen. My confession is what I believe. Come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. Whether I am angry or joyful, it is my confession. Oh, my confession, whether I am discouraged or I am free, all is my confession. Amen. All is a part of me. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. They say there's both good and evil in me. I got to allow one to obey the other. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Who is the poor shall you believe and to whom is God's hand revealed to? Many of us are seeking the hand of God in our situation. Seeking the hand of God in our life. Seeking the hand of God in our marriage. Seeking the hand of God in our sickness, in our despair, in our hopelessness, in our affliction. But whose report are you believing in? Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And to whom is God's hand revealed to So the Bible is telling me that God's hand is revealed to me. It is what? It is not revealed to your prophet for you. It is revealed to you for you. Come on, somebody. God's hand to take you out of the gutter. And take you out of addiction, out of, out of affliction, out of sickness, out of disease, out of depression, out of bondage. To take a sin out of me. Come on, somebody. Amen. To, to take a sinner and make him a sin. To bring transformation. Amen. God's hand must be revealed to me. Jesus and if I, by the finger of God, cast out devils, then have the kingdom of God come unto me. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth. Our prayer is our confession. Come on, somebody. But it's a part of our confession. Many of us think you like to pray. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. It's just a commitment to pray. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Pray is our most formidable weapon. But prayer doesn't stop in your hour of prayer. Your prayer must be continuous. And a part of your prayer is your continual confession. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Amen. Say, part of my prayer is my continual confession. 
The Bible said that the word of God, which is it that we are speaking about. You can lie to a prophet of God. You can lie to a man of God. You can lie to your brothers, your sisters, your family members. But it is always watching you. So the word of God is quick and powerful. Hebrews chapter 2, it is alive, it is quick, it is powerful, it is sharper than any sword. Any, amen somebody, weapon of destruction that man can invent, the world is more powerful than that. Come on somebody. It is alive, it is powerful. It is sharper than any to edge it so. The word of God must first cut, it must first enter. And for it to break the wall of flesh, it got to break the sin of man, it got to break the heart of man, it got to break what man desires and is not of God. That's why the spirit doesn't that God is nigh. He is close. That is that has a broken heart and a contrived spirit. When we speak about your broken heart, we talk about at the bank because your woman leave you. <laughs> talking about at the bank because your, your man leave you. Amen. We ain't talking about because you ain't get a call in three days. Amen. You can't eat. We talking about that. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. We are talking about a heart of stone, humbled by the word of God. A heart of sin, humbled by the word of God. What is a heart that is humbled by God? A heart that can accept his or her mistakes. A heart that can see their sins. A heart that can that can see their lives, that can see their contrary ways, that can see their attitude, their, their personalities, that, that can see where they need to improve, what they need to work on in their life. They can humble their step before God and say, God, I am nothing. God, I need you. I am lost, Father. I, I have tried on my own, but I, I can't do it on my own. I keep failing on my own. I keep messing up on my own. I keep making wrong choices on my own. Come on, somebody. Come on, you, you can accept that the, the man that you with or the woman that you with was not God's choice for you. Amen. You can admit that. You can say, God, I'll win them, but I know that that is not what you wanted for me. But I have to own up to my responsibility for that. It's a broken heart to God before God. He is nigh unto them now, right? And say that there be of it. What is a contrary spirit? Is a happy, sincere spirit. Sincere. Sincerity. Come on, what God is looking for in his universe? So we can be sincerely wrong. We can be sincerely contrary. We can be sincerely corrupt. We can be sincerely lost. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. This sincerity must be stand on the word of God. Yeah. So it's not just a broken heart, but a sincere spirit. A contrite, a pure, sincere spirit. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Amen. When I am sincere, my reason for doing it has no ulterior motives. Amen. Yeah. It means I don't call on God only when I have a problem. I don't find God when I have a need. Amen. I don't find God only when some demon attack me. Come on, somebody. Amen. I don't bless the ministry because I, I come last week Saturday and God healed me. And I feel that I feel good in the spirit. Let me, let me, let me give the ministry something. Amen. Amen. Come on, I'm gonna start what I'm telling you. A sincere spirit, come on somebody, has no ulterior motive. It is genuine. I've got a genuine love for God. 
I got a genuine love for the sons of the one true and living God ministry. I got a genuine love for what I see God doing. I see the sick I see the blind see the deaf here. I see the dead raised. I see demons cast out. I see God walking. And I want to do all that I can to keep God work going. I know that's to keep it going. But I want it to get better and better and greater and stronger. I want, I want to see more happen. My motive is that I want to see God work greater. Come on, somebody. Amen. That is a contrived spirit. God is nigh to us. When you have a broken heart and a contrived spirit. I, I don't do things because I see the, the pastor looking at me. And, and the bottle of my pass on the ground. Normally, because I see him looking, I'm going to pick it up and put it all right, Pastor. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. Because there's one that is far greater than your pastor, your prophet, and is always looking at you. Yes. He's always looking at you. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. And then there is the accuser of the brethren, which is the devil. He's always looking at you too. To accuse you before God. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. To prove our unfaithfulness. Amen. Our unworthiness. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. To prove why God shouldn't bless us. Why God shouldn't heal us. Why God shouldn't deliver us. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. He's all Come on, someone. Amen. Many of us are, are so worried about what man has to say. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Amen. And we are not focused at the, the unseen enemy. Amen. Who is a bandit, a robber, a thief, a murderer. Amen. He is always looking at you. And the Bible said he is our accuser. Amen. And he has some say in your life. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Many people say, well, I'm born again, devil have no say. If the devil have no say, what do you say? If the devil have no say, what do you be problem free? Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody. Come in here. That's what I'm telling you tonight. Amen. Come on, somebody. The Bible calls Satan the God of this age. Amen. Of our society. Of our governments. Amen. He's in control. He, he has people set up there. The spirit of the Antichrist, the Bible says, do it already. Walk to oppose that which is of Christ, that which is of God to deceive. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Amen. So he has a certain measure of saving your life. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Where am I getting that from the principle of the word of God? Go back again to Job. The Bible says, Lord, well, the sons of God appear before God. Where was Satan? In the mix. In the mix. Come on, somebody. Amen. What did God say? Have you not considered? It means that heaven and hell have some sort of agreement over our lives. Amen. God and the devil have some sort of agreement over our lives. Amen. He said, have you not considered? Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Right now, you and I have been considered for promotion. Amen. Say, I'm being considered, I'm being considered. For, promotion. for promotion. For my breakthrough, for my deliverance. Amen. You see, the Bible said that the Holy Ghost searches the hearts of men. Amen. He is searching, he is searching the hearts of men. We have been considered whether to be used of God or not. Amen. Whether God will, will commit unto us the anointing or not. Amen. 
Come on, somebody. Amen. Better he will release the blessing or not. Amen. Come on. Amen. Say, I'm being considered. Amen. There's a matter in the court concerning your life right now. Amen. Concerning our spiritual lifestyle, there's a matter happening in the courts of heaven. Amen. The Bible says that when the sons of God was, Amen. Satan was here. Amen. And God said, have you not considered my faithful servant, Job? And the devil says, yes, he is faithful to you make him rich. He is faithful Okay, you, you give him a nice wife, you give him nice children. Amen. You give him wisdom, you make him powerful. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. And the devil said, remove the hedge for me just a little while. Amen. And let us see how faithful he's going to be. Amen. Amen. God said, all right, but you can't take his life. Amen. That's why there is no way in God's word he said that you wouldn't face battles. Mm -hmm. That you wouldn't face tribulation. Amen. That you wouldn't face persecution. That things that discovered you wouldn't come your way. That temptation wouldn't come your way. Amen. That some visible wouldn't come your way. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Amen, somebody. That some deceptive with money wouldn't come your way. Come on, somebody. Am I speaking to somebody tonight? Come on, somebody. Amen. But it is, it is our job to remain faithful to God. Amen. Come on, somebody. Come on. The Bible said that before Jesus Christ, the Son of God, was a proof of God, he had to fulfill all righteousness. He went to the baptize of John. John told him, he said, I'm not worthy. He to baptize you. I know who you are. God has revealed to me who you are. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. If you want to cry, the Son of God, you should be the one baptizing me. Jesus told them, suffer it to be so. That all righteousness will be fulfilled. Come on, somebody. From there, he went straight in the wilderness to fast and pray. And the Bible said, for what purpose? To be tempted of the devil. Are you tempted of the devil? Amen. After he was tempted of the devil, the Bible said, then the power of the spirit and then we read the book of Acts chapter 2 that Jesus Christ uh, was approved of God by great persecutions and trials and much affliction and by power and authority and demonstration of the most high he was approved of God yeah. come on somebody yeah. come on I speak to somebody tonight. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thy heart. Come on, somebody. Amen. Say, if I will confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus and then shall believe. There are many people that can repeat a scripture. Amen. They can they go repeating words. They go repeating what others have said. Amen. But do you really believe in uh, what you are saying? There's a different power. There's a different life. There's a different strength. There's a different authority. There's a, a different conviction that, that comes from your heart when you believe what you are saying. When somebody pray and you are in the spirit you can tell every word that a person is saying they believe in your heart it is so and it shall be so and it shall be accomplished Isaiah said that the word of God whatever it is sent to do it shall perform it it shall not be turned under him void is that as the rain coming down as the snow that they give blood. Amen to the altar. Amen somebody. Amen. 
amen to give seed uh, to the sower uh, and bread uh, unto the eater uh, so uh, is the word of God it shall not return unto him first amen 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 Come on. Hallelujah. If thou shalt do what? Confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thy heart that God hath raised him from the dead. Thou shalt. Come on. That word shall there. Come on somebody. Or shall. Come on, somebody. Yeah, old, old English, shall. Modern English, shall. Thou shall, will, no compromise. Great distinction. It shall happen. It shall be so. It shall come to pass. God doesn't make mistakes. Whom God has blessed, no man shall curse. Come on. If God shall be with me, who shall be against me? With my eyes will I watch and see and behold the reward of the wicked. By his stripes I am healed. Let the weak say I am strong. Let the poor say I am rich. Because of what the Lord has done. But the devil has come in as a flood. The spirit of the Lord shall raise a standard. Greater is he that is in me. And he that is in the world. No weapon that is formed against me shall not Heart, where there is a person confessing the right things. Yeah. 
How can we escape the feet? Regret so great a salvation. For with the heart man will lead on to righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Unto salvation. Come on, Sama. Unto deliverance. Unto healing. Unto breakthrough. Unto miracles, unto notable signs and wonders. The condition starts with the heart. Come on, somebody. Yeah. And with the confession. Come on. Yeah. Of our lips. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Verses 11 said, For the scriptures say, Whosoever believeth on him, shall not be ashamed. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on. God is not like a man who tells you I will pay you and you never see him again. Come on, somebody. The Bible is saying that whatever God has promised you, He will surely bring you to pass. He will not bring you to shame. He will not bring the shame if you preach and you tell people beforehand of what God has said to you, what He has spoken to you, what He has promised you. The Bible said God is not going to bring you to the, any shame. He's going to bring you to victory. He's going to bring you to peace. He's going to bring you to deliverance. Amen, somebody. He's going to bring you out of any hole or any pit that you are in. He will not lead you to shame. Amen. Amen. Amen, Amen. 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 Stand to your feet tonight. Let's begin to pray. Let's begin to pray. What say the, the word? The word is nigh thee. Even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. Amen. And I want you to begin to open your mouth and begin to confess whatever is troubling you tonight. Begin to confess Jesus. what God is going to do in your life Amen. from tonight. Addiction. Be it some transformation in your being as a person, as a child of God. Be it ancestral Demon spirits troubling your life. Begin to confess what God will do and begin to command your chain. Begin to open your mouth and begin to pray and begin to cry out in the Holy Ghost. Begin to open your mouth and begin to cry. Begin to open your mouth and begin to cry in the Holy Ghost. That in the name of Jesus, if you have confessed the Lord Jesus, 
Sleeping, come forward. You have problems sleeping. You have uh, dreams where you are eating food you can identify in your sleep. You, you, you dream of people who have died and gone. This anointing will begin to break. The yoke tonight. All you got to do is believe. Saturday night is communion and then we get to the part of the covenant of the anointing of our fast. You see our fast is the sea and it is working wonders in the spiritual realm of our life. It is working to bring forth excellence, to bring forth fruit, to bring forth deliverance. Horrible your hand. So whatever evil spirit that is tormenting me, disturbing my sleep, entering into my life, 
through my dreams. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. Every unclean spirit, whatever they have been present, in the mighty name of Jesus. Come out, the power of the Holy Ghost. And they, they want to remain in a hospital. They want to put you under the knife and have surgery. They want you to, to lose your life. And the Lord said, if you have faith, you shall recover. Uh, I'm going to bless a case of water. I'm going to prove it up five more times. The whole the place that you are living needs to be cleaned up, needs to be blessed. And the healing is going to flow. Say what God bless. No man shall curse. No man shall curse. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. One get close to you. To create banner and, and strife. And this is a spirit with an ancestral curse. And also to bring sickness. To have you visit with doctors. And like every three, four months to be in and out. And that, that's the curse. And the Lord wants to break it. By a strife we are made whole. The mighty the Lord said the first part of your word is this or the devil doesn't mean for evil he will turn around for good and the Lord said he will give instructions as you come and direct him at the situation that you are in the Lord said to be prayed for two more times and wait for the instructions from on high and the direction Directive. You are not going to fear, you are not going to panic, but believe that all things are made possible with God to them that believe. I see what you're going through. Some to the fire, some to the floods, some to the waters, but all 
Goshu, the blood, Ikor, the Sitor of Satarabasa, and not as many enemies, many are kings. But behold, the Lord, Ikor of Satarabasa, I will spoil your books, I will intervene, I will bring them to be ashamed, I will open it plain before those that do not believe. For I am the Lord your God, I am your deliverer, I am your healer. Behold the Lamb of God, mighty name of Jesus Christ. Have uh, are building houses, have complications with your home, complications with land. Come forward and would approve it you. Doesn't matter if you have received prayer already. This is one anointing for different administration. The anointing is given to break the yoke. God is going to break the yoke. You can't finish the home. Problems in court. All these things I'm calling on, what the Lord is instructing the call people on, to pray them about, to carry the anointing and deliverance. As you can go in your home, you can go in that piece of land, you can, you can go if it's, if it's financial problem in which the building of the house, you can command the increase, Christ, the anointing, the anointed one. What say it that the word, the word, the word is, is not deep. It is even in that mouth that is the word of faith. This as we fast and as we have been praying and as we this is what we have been seeking God for as our soul begin to prosper so things around us will begin to prosper the Bible then as our soul prosper so shall we prosper fast and purify the soul bring the flesh under subjection it allow God to move it allow the anointing to move it allow the Holy Ghost to move that there will be no hindrance in your life if your hands are begin to confess uh, what God is about to do in your situation. Uh, begin to confess what God has blessed. Uh, no man shall curse. Uh, begin to break the curse of the devil over your life. Uh, the curse uh, of evil report. Uh, the curse uh, of negative report. Uh, the curse of uh, any curse over your life. Uh, curse that curse. Uh, break that yoke. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, in the mighty name name of Jesus Christ In the mighty name of Jesus, He is our Lord. There is no God but Him. There is no deliverer but Him. There is no healer but Him. As I lay hands upon your people, let them receive. Let them receive. Let them receive, Lord. Please, and we shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. We shall cast out devils to your name, and nothing shall be impossible to them that believe in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, receive, receive now. Now, in the mighty 
Vecchi ne marchita spaccia, 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 vecchi ne marchita It's night, even in my mouth, and in my heart, it's in my heart, that is the word of faith, will be preached, and all things are made possible with God. I want to pray for those that they repeatedly get infections in the blood. Your tissue is bleeding. Come forward, I want to pray with you. You feel like you have infection in your blood? I wish you with bleeding. Come forward, I want to pray with you. Come quickly, come quickly. If you're on the outside, if you're on the inside, come forward. Come quickly, come quickly. Go to the miracle. If the issue goes, then come, come quickly. The sickness, the disease is in your blood. The spirit of infirmity is in your blood. She doesn't have any cough. You see, blood if you go to the washroom. Come. The matter is not of time, the matter is of your miracle. Your hands to watch them. We are again with the hands of the Lord. The body is Christ. I am healed. You need to command your healing by the stripes of Jesus. Those that also suffer with the low blood count, come to me. You suffer when the low blood comes. You have been to the doctor. And every time you go, tell you that your blood comes is low. You're not sure why. Come. By his stripes we are healed. Lift your hands and begin to command the healing. So many have been here here tonight already. So many have received here tonight already. As the Holy Ghost is here, you open your heart and stop the feeling, the seeing, the sensing, to know that He is here. Take your hand, church, and begin to confess your healing, your healing, by His stripes. 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 I am healed. I am healed. I am healed. Can you believe tonight? I you do you know that you are receiving of the Lord tonight? That he is healing you tonight. E shala ba yinda la ba yindu robo sira mama santa nara ba yinda la ba shita la ba santa. As I pray with you, God will move. God will move. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. E la ba yinda la ba santa la santa. What they are sent against you. E la ba ba sila la ba yila la ba santa. By witchcraft. By sorcery. By natural magic. Let me say. Come out, 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 come out,
was a hell on that you were set up, huh? You were set up with a, with a drink, huh? And somebody put you something in there for you and I didn't drink it, huh? And Lord said a week later, it began to affect you. It's a timely disease. It's a timely hago robo koshata of fiction. Lift your hand to the these powers huh? of the saints of God, the bind the kings and chains, huh? and the nobles and feathers of iron. You small man over her life. We find you in chains and in front of us. We command you out! We pray and be healed now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray and be healed now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ah, Peter and John are the gate called Peter for them. Silver and gold are my none. What did I have give I want today? In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We heal. The mighty name of Jesus Christ, we heal. We are the Sitoreba Satara Masai, and the Sitoreba Satara Masai, and the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we make hope. 